Hey guys, how's it going? We're in the studio. Yep. We just got our, our carbos in. Yep. Feeling good. Getting the vibe on. Need a little pick me up. Going for some smooths. Coming up to the studio, day four. You guys did it. Because Lucy Loss is from there, they shot most of Hercules and Xena down there in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So I just think they already have a network and a way of making it very cheaply down there, cheaper than anywhere else, is my guess. first few songs all I did is take production notes and I don't think I put any notes on which take I like the best. It says here we have three takes. It's probably the last take's usually the best one, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to invite you guys to any soiree at my house. We, uh, we try to have some little, uh, we've been trying to have some get-togethers because we, <laughs> we like our house so much and it's good for entertaining. We've actually been well, I'd love to cancel. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Thank you, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, there's no better feeling than the day of. Whenever they have these cool screenings, they get people to do intros about the phone things. Ooh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, in front of They Live, John, it was John Carpenter, and he's like, I'm John Carpenter, and he's like, because we just saw They Live a week before, and uh, he was like, Can Alan just do for a stupid little screening? Yeah, he's like, hey, I'm John Carpenter, welcome <laughs> to Alamo. He's like, put your phones away. He's like, no talking or texting, especially in my fucking movies. <laughs> yeah, dude. Damn. Something like that, and that was it. Oh, Han Solo, and it was Chewbacca telling him. Shut up. up. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. He's like, oh, I, love that. I love that solo, by the way. It was great. Okay, yes. Right? Yes. I, that I loved. Like, maybe it's because I went into it not expecting much, but I like loved. It. I want to see it twice, actually. I Did you so um, get a lot of wardrobe inspiration? Best jackets ever. <laughs> Got it. Here's the thing. Tom Atkins is like one of my all-time favorite actors because he's like the main dude in Night of the Creeps. Yeah. It's my favorite, you know, mm. maybe my favorite movie. Did you guys know I own one of the only three remaining existing screen used actual rubber? The Creeps, the actual. No. I own one of the only three. Tom Atkins is from Pittsburgh. And he, I know he lives in Bethel Park, which is the town where my parents live. So I'm always like, someday, because I love him so much in Night of the Creeps, I was like, someday. I'm gonna bump into him. That's like my dream before he, I was like, I just wanna meet Tom Atkins. I just think he's the coolest. You know what, this song does kinda sound like Take Over and Destroy or something. <laughs> <laughs> just this part, just this part. <laughs> just the only part. No, that's okay. Should he be doing this ba 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 Oh yeah, he, he should be hitting You know, the thing is, I once saw this ridiculous online review of the Star Wars movies. The guy is kind of absurd, but he makes an amazingly great point. He's like, you know, good movies, like, they have a central character. This is what got me starting thinking about the other one. <laughs> yeah. They have a central character, and they're like, name the central character of like any of the prequels. Like it's, or at least of the Phantom Menace. It's like it's not Anakin. We don't even meet him till halfway through the movie. And even then, nothing happens to him. Everything that happens to him is an accident. Nothing happens because he had a plan. He wanted it. You know, everything that happens is just accidental. But anyway, the mark of great characters is when you can describe the character without saying what they do in the movie or what they look like. Han Solo, easy, he's like, kind of arrogant, only out for himself, you know, kind of like, scoundrel, like, kind of thinks, thinks he's a bit, you know, blah, 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 Bad you know. Boy. C-3PO, very worried, nervous, you know, they're like, there's all these personality traits that the characters have. And they're like, and then he's like, okay, watch this. Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> uh, 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 right. Uh, uh, personality, I mean, yeah, it's what somebody, and then uh, somebody even said he's got like a ponytail. Like, no, you can't say what he wears. <laughs> and they did that for Queen Amidala. 
Oh God! All right, she's a little on the blank side. They're all Trump on the blank side. There's not a single actual character in that movie. Even Obi Wan doesn't mm. really have Jar Jar, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, um, Boy. Goofy, clumsy. Always getting into trouble. Jar Jar is actually the best character. <laughs> yeah. He's the it's only not. actual. He's the only character in the film who actually has a character trait. <laughs> Where are we going? Thank you. Oh, my butt hurts. I gotta go home. Oh, okay. Hey guys, how's it going? We're in the studio. Yep. We just got our, our carbos in. Yep. Feeling good. Getting the vibe on. Need a little pick me up. Going for some smooths. That's correct pattern, so I'll edit this too. Brown Telly and the, and the Jazz Master, maybe, but but I don't know. What do you think, Bobby? What did you you play all three? Which one feel go, feel good neck wise? Probably everything that's <laughs> not a Gibson. Okay. One, it's just tinier. It's naturally. Okay. Just what? Um, the necks are tinier. On a Gibson? Yeah. Oh, on um, Fenders, I think. Yeah. No, I agree. Editing today, three songs, badass. More editing tomorrow, Edit editing tomorrow. Maybe some guitar, we'll see. But yeah, on to the next day.